Hi Pisces, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. We're going to go ahead and expand on your intuitive energy reading for February 2022, seeing what you um, could possibly expect in these upcoming weeks. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. So glad that you were led to this message. And for my regular and returning subscribers, welcome back. You know, I truly appreciate all of your support, your time, and just your general good vibes Pisces so I always like to check to see if there's any jumpers that want to come out if there's any important or urgent messages that some of you need to hear but it looks like today Pisces may be a pretty um calm reading <laughs> so let's see here okay this one kind of tipped over speaking of calm look what popped through we are looking at the four of cups okay now that we have the, oh, actually, this is the center. Okay, let's see if there's anything else here, Pisces, and then we will start. Double four is already coming out. Oh, let's see what's going on with this change taking place. Okay, here we go. Three of cups. So three, four, oh, wow, that one just flew in. Wow, Pisces, look at this, triple fours. Is four your lucky number? <laughs> Maybe um, some of you, oh, is your birthday on the fourth? Hmm, let's see here. Maybe March 4th we are looking at. Or some type of celebration. on. Maybe there's like, a, let's see, or four, eight, 12. Hmm, okay, for some reason the fours are representing some upcoming event. Okay, so Pisces, let's go ahead and begin here with your focus energy. The Four of Cups, when this card comes up for you, it is showing that some of you may be pondering, contemplating, uh, possibly waiting on something new, waiting for some type of <laughs> excitement coming in or some type of happiness. I feel like some of you, not all, but some of you... Um, are in a state of stagnation. Maybe something's just not going in the way that you had expected or what um, you had imagined. Some of you may be bored. Some of you may be tired. Uh, some of you just wanting a change. Uh, there's also this energy of you thinking about making some type of, um, like some type of plan to switch things up a little bit, but we'll get some clarifiers, okay? This incoming energy here, the Four of Pentacles, showing that saving your money. <laughs> I feel like, did this come up in your reading last last time? Hmm, I may be thinking of another water sign, but Pisces, the Four of Pentacles for this incoming energy, looks like there's something up ahead that is going to be coming across where you are going to be needing more resources. Could be, uh, you know, your financial situation, needing to save money or save up a deposit. It could also represent um, making sure you are taking care of your health, your well-being, okay? Because, I mean, you are, your health is wealth too. So, conserve your time, your energy, your mental space for something that is needed up ahead. Mm, I feel also that some of you may be experiencing in February that what you thought was valuable isn't as necessary or valuable like you thought. So almost like this detachment of unnecessary connections, relationships, or even belongings, and you're really only holding on to the, the far, the few, and the selected, the ones that really matter. Okay. So, but again, we'll get some clarifiers here with my other deck, Pisces. Now, the Three of Cups with actions um, and what you'll be doing in February. The Three of Cups, I like this because you are going to be in a space of happiness, there's some type of celebration taking place or um, I feel like a lot of you too may be in this socializing mode. Socializing possibly with your loved ones, with your friends, maybe your family. This is also showing that maybe you will also be um, connecting back with yourself, Pisces. Celebrating and just embracing the hobbies and the interests that you want to partake in and you may have this time where you have more like more freedom to explore more freedom to create uh more freedom to spend time with loved ones possibly 
Because the Four of Cups, it's also showing that in February, you're going to have more time on your hands. Possibly why we see um, this person being bored. Not to say you're going to be bored with your free time, but this also represents, you know, um, more time on your hands. So you may be in that space where you're like, wow, I can spend my weekends doing what I like to do. You know, I don't have to work 12 hours on my shift. It's like you're going to be finding some type of abundance of time where um, you'll be able to tap into doing more of what you enjoy. But again, we'll get some clarifiers. The Page of Cups, oh, I like this for you because those, you know, if you're looking for new love or if you're looking to start dating again, um, this is a good sign, especially if some of you maybe have been on hiatus, have been on a break, really possibly not even looking for love because this person's looking down like, eh, not interested based off of past experience. But um, something is or someone is popping up here for you with this Page of Cups. Now, um, Although this also represents love interest, some of you are not interested in new love and some of you are happily in your love relationship. The Page of Cups still applies to you, Pisces, because it shows up as an artist um, or creative energy. So whether it's your dreams are popping up and coming to life, your ideas or uh, a spark of creativity is popping out of the blue, I feel like a lot of you are going to be producing or creating um, something new or finding the motivation to um, either do something new, create something new, or come across maybe like a new project or hobby um, because this is something that you're going to take delight in, okay? You are really going to find a liking to this energy and you're really going to connect with it now it's interesting too with the four of the four of wands you know all of these fours diagonal in here <laughs> we see that and it's across from the three of cups you know after the three comes the four so pisces with this you're gonna you're gonna see that you're capable of doing much more than what you had imagined Okay, the four of wands, it does represent some type of um, arrival to, you know, this um, this goal. There's this uh, feeling of completion. So whether it's some of you, you know, going to a wedding, getting married, uh, some of you may be even starting a, a business or officially announcing some type of, um, you know, event. Others, I feel like this is officially you are marking like this new milestone in your life you know you are officially launching something you are officially in this new role um given this new title i see here some of you may be joining and um partnering with someone and you are like officially like partners or business collaborators or um some of you may be like creative entrepreneurs too and you're like i've officially quit my job and now i'm like my own <laughs> um person entity too okay because this space it's like you are moving away possibly why you are saving money for some some of you are like saving up your money to do more what you love and to explore and um, see where this new path takes you and you're using maybe the four of pentacles as like a safety net because some of you are realizing too like life is too short to be unhappy to be dissatisfied to do what you hate to do and you want to um you know a lot of you pisces are very creative okay you're great dreamers and you have this great vision for your life for your path and some of you are really um getting you know getting a control of that and curious to see what would your world look like if you actually lived it out to the way that you wanted to so february looks like there are um a lot of happiness and surprises coming in so let's see let's get some clarifiers for you pisces keep in mind i do new readings every week so if you are subscribed you should be notified of those videos coming out oh my gosh look at that so we're looking at Double threes, some of you, your lucky number is three. <laughs> uh, we have three of pentacles coming in next to the four of pentacles. So the three of pentacles comes off as like teamwork, collaboration, maybe you joining a team. So some of you may be, um, you know, stepping into a new practice, uh, joining a new project, possibly investing too. 
Some of you may be in, inspired to start a new project around the home, maybe a creative project, and we are needing, you know, the four pentacles, those resources, whether again, it's your money investing in this business, in this project, or your time, you know, budgeting and managing your time wisely, saving your mental creative capacity for this new project that you're getting together. For others too, I see you may be on board or um, just with your partner or your family, just discussions of saving more money, budgeting your money, planning and saving up for um, possibly, you know, um, a wedding, an event or possibly a vacation too. So some of you Pisceans are um, talking about that. I feel some of you too may be talking about moving, saving up for a house or saving up to move because where you're at, you're not really um, happy or satisfied or you feel like there's more over here. So that goal could be in the works. Now for um, this other message here, Pisces, with the Three of Cups as we expand. Ooh, I like the Wheel of Fortune because it represents good luck on your side. Okay, the wheels are turning. I feel like some of you are coming across um, like a new turn in your life, especially where you feel like there wasn't a lot of movement. As we look at this wheel here for the ship, steering wheel, um, you know, like things are turning around for you, turning around for the better. We're seeing progress. We're seeing another stage being unlocked here for you. Um, also, this represents an energy of something you didn't expect. You may have thought the wheel was going to turn left, but then it went right. So it's like the universe is steering you in a direction that you um, didn't expect, but the overall destination is what you wanted. Okay, so look out for that in February as well. And possibly why we see that Three of Cups. It's like you are very content, you are happy, you're just enjoying and grateful for the um, blessings that you are going to come across through this redirection. And I feel like some of you are going to see why some things had to happen, why some things had to be on hold, why some things played out in the, the recent weeks or months, because it was, um, you know, the storm had to come through to redirect you to something much greater. Now, exploring and expanding on the page of cups. Interesting. We see the hangman coming in here. So. For those, again, that are looking for new love or that are single, the hangman is also coming up as you, um, you know, letting go of the need to always be in control, letting go of um, trying to maybe determine like when you're going to meet someone, what they're going to look like, what type, what type you're going to marry. And you're kind of just like going with the flow. You're, you're just going to let the universe, you know, just let things happen in divine timing. And that's where surprises come up. Now, aside from love, Pisces, this taps into your life too. Some of you are going to experience in February, you're going to realize again, you can't control every detail of your life. You can make plans, but you can't control every single move okay everyone still has free will there is the universal energy that is still flowing so even though you may have had to um you thought that maybe you were going to accomplish this particular goal by you know february or by um this time you're realizing okay you know what maybe this wasn't meant to be for a reason and that's where we see this surprise coming up you're kind of having a new outlook to the situation and you're not trying to push it anymore this his head is illuminated okay so it's almost like he sees the light bulb coming on and saying like oh aha okay i get it now if this happened then i wouldn't have come across this situation so it's almost like a hidden blessing now with the two of pentacles, the four of wands, yeah, basically showing that, you know, whatever you are prioritizing, Pisces, you can do it. She has these two of pentacles, but one right here is her main focus. She has her eye on the prize. So I feel like uh, whatever is really calling to your heart, Pisces, there, some of you have like this really big goal that you are striving for, okay? You may have multiple, but there's one in particular that you're like, okay, I really, really, really want this to come true in 2022 or in the next couple of weeks or in the next couple of months. Um, you want to see progress. You want to see, you know, the stages coming together. And that looks like that may be it here for you when we look at the two of pentacles. So you are prioritizing what's important. Um, some of you are also in a position where your financial situation is coming Um it's creating a strong foundation. You know, everything is even, everything is aligned here for you. 
So we're going to pull your Oracle energy here, Pisces. And, oh, I feel like this, oh, oh that kind of tricked me. I thought one of them jumped out here. I always like to see if there's any jumpers. I feel like, okay, let me get a good feel for you, Pisces. Let's see which card wants to come out for your Oracle. Pisces, Pisces. Oh, look at this. Okay, new start. It says, sometimes we must realize that what we have done needs to be discarded and we must make a new start. Okay, so page cup coming in here, new start. Just because, um, you know, something didn't work before in the past doesn't mean you have to give up completely. You may, because these are both cup energies, you may need to revisit something or a situation and um, add in like a new twist or possibly go down a different path. So you could still like, you know, peach trees, but maybe the path that you're going on did not lead you to the peach tree. So you don't have to give up on finding that tree. Just go down a different path. Okay. Maybe you're meant to connect with someone different. Um, so the new start here, I mean, this is so fitting for the new year, but also with the hangman too. Okay. Sometimes we must realize that what we have done needs to be discarded and we must make a new start. Some some things, again, you can't force. You can't twist someone's arm. You can't twist the situation if it's not meant to happen at that time. So you may have to let that go and see where everything else is going, okay? Let it go for now. And if it's meant to be in your life, Pisces, it will make its way back around, I guarantee. So until then, I'll see you in the next reading. Stay well and be blessed.